Good evening, everyone. Before I get started tonight, it seems only fitting that we observe a brief moment of silence in memory of Washington Post contributor Jamal Khashoggi. Thank you. It was three score and one week ago tonight, on October 15, 1958, that arguably the world's most widely respected broadcast journalist of his time stood before a dinner event at the then RTNDA annual convention at the Mayfair Room at the Sheridan Blackstone Hotel in Chicago. He admonished those present, broadcast newsroom leaders, and journalists from across the country to use the power of radio and television journalism always to benefit the public by creating a more informed and educated society. Of the still nascent medium of TV in particular, as you just heard, he said that night, this instrument can teach, it can illuminate, yes, and even it can inspire but it can do so only to the extent that humans are determined to use it to those ends. Otherwise, it's nothing but wires and lights in a box. But there's more to that quote. There is a great and perhaps decisive battle to be fought against ignorance, intolerance, and indifference, he said. This weapon of television could be very useful. Tonight, as we gather in the beautiful historic Gotham Hall in New York City, illuminated by the images of the man who articulated those words, we honor the television, radio, and digital journalists who, during 2017, most exemplified the values of that intrepid founding father of our craft, Edward R. Murrow. And we celebrate both them and him. We do so at a time when saluting responsible journalism has never been more important. We are under near constant attack, rhetorically to be sure, but sadly in too many cases, as recently as this afternoon, also physically. At last year's RTDNA Edward R. Murrow Awards dinner and gala, I stood in this very spot and I uttered words that bear repeating tonight. No one in this room is a purveyor of fake news. No one in this room is an enemy of the American people. That unfortunate but utterly necessary piece of business now dispensed with, let's get started with the fun. It's my pleasure to introduce the Chairman of the Board of the Radio, Television, Digital News Association, Vice President of Local Content Development for Next Star Media Group, Mr. Jerry Walsh. Thank you, Dan. On behalf of the RTDNA Board of Directors, I'd like to welcome you, we'd like to welcome this, which is the largest audience for our annual Edward R. Murrow Awards Gala. For the first time in our history, this event was officially sold out. Thank you very much for being here tonight. But luckily, a number of people are watching tonight via the live stream on rtdna.org, and we welcome them in here as well. What a terrific gathering to help celebrate you, the 118 national Murrow Award winners. But before we begin tonight, let me recognize the fact that some were not able to attend this dinner because of the ongoing coverage of Hurricane Michael. The deadly storm caused widespread damage to several areas, especially the floor of the panhandle. We have all seen the pictures, read the stories, listened to the people who rode out the storm. Our thoughts and our prayers 
are with those who have lost loved ones and been impacted by this storm. But Hurricane Michael is a, while Hurricane Michael is a national story, it impacts, the impacts of that storm were local. And tonight, as they have been since before the storm hit, local journalists are on duty using digital, social, television, radio, and other media to inform. Responsible journalism on where basic life necessities can be obtained, life-saving information about power restoration efforts, medical care, and meals. And journalists are there to ask federal, state, and local leaders what is being done for those in need. It is a job which will go on for many months and years. But it's important to recognize these journalists are also local residents of the communities that were impacted. They too were victims. They're citizens of our great country. They have homes which were destroyed or damaged, families who were evacuated or are looking for a place to live. And they have the same life concerns of their news consumers. But there they are, on the job, reporting what's, what their communities need to know. These news professionals symbolize our industry's important role and responsibility. They are an inspiration to us all, and I hope you will join me in sending our encouragement and an appreciation as they continue to perform this valuable work. Tonight, we recognize those who have uncovered impactful stories, produced exceptional work for their news consumers. We honor newscasts which have contained life-saving information and offered local relevance, websites which demonstrated innovative ways to inform their users. And we recognize the long hours of work you put into producing that content, which has also inspired and educated your audiences. For just about every one of our winners here tonight, the journalism which we recognize started with an idea, a question, a thought, or a tip. And you, the winners, took that idea and did what thousands of professionals do each day in this country. You did your job, and our democracy is better thanks to your responsible reporting. Thank you for the great work you have done to serve your audiences and your local communities. And congratulations again to all the winners here tonight.